it doesn't come back, he will. And how can you be so sure? Because I know my son. We all do. That's the problem. Well, he did say he might meet me later on. Well, there you are, then. He's probably just taking her for a drive. And how do I know you're not covering for him? He could be on a plane to anywhere. Now, why is his phone switched off? I reckon you should call the police, so... Oh, what? After all the harping on you've been doing about the way they've been treating this you? This is a little girl that your son's playing games with. Yes, my son's little girl. Yes, but it doesn't give him the right to snatch her. Look, we'll go to my place. You can ring from there, yeah? Come on. I will kill him if he's done anything stupid. Well, you were the one shouting the odds at him this morning. I only wanted him to stick up for himself, not this. I just hope we find him before the police arrive. Look, we'll help you. We'll go and organise a search party. Oh, thank you, and I'll phone his mate. Someone must know something. Hello, oh, look. I thought you were helping Andy. Yeah, I was, till he decided he could manage on his own. Well, he hit me with a... Flipping lump hammer. Well, that looks serious. Well, he can whistle if he expects me to apologise. I thought he hit you. Is there something you're not telling me? I was trying to help the lad. He just took it the wrong way, as usual. Well, one of you is going to have to sort it out. Yeah, well, he's too stubborn to admit when he's wrong. That's his problem. I wonder where he gets that from. He treats me like a kid. Well, you've got to admit it is hard work at the minute. And it's hardly a gold mine. So you think I should just let him walk all over me? No. Or maybe I should be more like Robin, just not care. Andy, don't be stupid. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Well, I don't need charity. Well, it was different when he was lending us money. Whose side are you on? Not yours, of course. Just to snuggle up to this one. Remember. Can you just drop my hair? Listen to me, thinking about myself. She needs a TLC around here, isn't it? Just don't wait too long. I miss you so much. I still don't understand why we have to help her. Yes. Because she's afraid we're worried, that's why. Yeah, well, I know that. Look, Debbie, forget about all this dingle pride, cos you know as well as I do, it gets us nowhere. Yeah, and just cos we're helping her out, don't mean it's gonna change her mind. Yes. Oh, and have you got any better ideas? Yes. No? Right. Well, just trust me on this. It's worth a try, right? So we? What have they said? They're sending someone round. What's he done with her charity? Oh, so we? Someone will turn up. It will, don't worry. Uh, I'm feeling stronger every day. You can tell that to them at the discharge meeting this afternoon. What? You said yourself we were doing well. You are? I can't see any reason why you shouldn't go home. That's not what your face is saying. It's just with Dawn being away. Well, I know. You can't do it on your own, Terry. You need support. What, are you, are you saying that they won't let me out? Not as it stands at the moment, no. Sorry, I'm late. Now, have either of you eaten? Thank you. Most welcome. <laughs> You've got to keep your strength up. Everyone in the village sends their sympathies. They all cared a lot for Tricia. Funny how the fact she's dead makes them all her best friend. That's not the case at all, certainly. Yes, well, sentiment ain't gonna bring her back, is it? I just wish she'd hurry up and say his goodbyes. Then maybe this could be over. Marlon needs the time to let it sink in. The sooner we lay Trisha to rest, the better. That's just a body kept warm by machines. Oh, I need some air. I'll come with you. No. I prefer to be on my own. Well, if you do see him, get him to call me, OK? 
We only want these. I'll leave the money. I've got things on my mind right now. Well, I've only got a tenner. Right. Well, come on then. Let's go. Hiya. Hey. I won't come in here if you want to buy anything. She okay? She's looking for Scott. Didn't he freeze in the Antarctic? By the sounds of things, I wish he had. Are you back off up to the farm? Yeah, I've got a loan. Aye, your dad was telling me about his hand. It was an accident, despite what he might have said. He only wants to help, you know. Is it, that is what I've been telling him. I don't mind help. He's thinking I can't manage without him. He won't stop going on about it. It's just his way. Ignore it. Couldn't you just give him another chance? We could do with the help, Andy. I'll think about it. You still here? The one you just got here. We're closed. Come on, out. What the hell? So what now? The music didn't work. I've tried everything. What have I missed? Hey? Give us a clue. Please. I'll try anything. Anything. Oh, this lot's enough to drive you mad. I'm the heart to first it while Patricia's... Well, I'll give you a hand if you like. It won't take long if we do it together. Is this what you like when you've got nothing to do? Yeah, I'm sorry. I hate feeling like a spare part. I've come to apologise about the hand. Well, I think I'll live. Good. Right. Look, uh, I'm sorry. Well, you were right. He has sent me back the storm. I'd like to help. I know, but I can't keep taking from you. It's not fair. So, what do you suggest? That I pay you the going rate. Well, I work for you. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Hmm. Storm's wreaked havoc. There's a caravan here been found half a mile from where it was. <laughs> Bet that's the fastest it ever travelled. <laughs> Wasn't anybody in it, was there? Unfortunately not. Sorry. I was only trying not to get too depressing. No. I wonder where Steph's got to. I'm not con confusing the tea ladies, but... What? Three razy lees. <laughs> <laughs> In the police so long. You could be halfway around the world by now. Zoe, this is Scott Windsor we're talking about. Yes, but you didn't see how angry he was with me. But I know that he's not bright enough to come up with a proper plan. Thanks, Charity. Zoe, there's his car. Debbie, are you sure it was him? A minute. Hold on a minute. Hang on a minute. You stole my daughter. I took our daughter out. And who gave you permission, Scott? Oh, who just asked give you? It to me. Don't go pulling them about. I just want him to give my daughter back. He will. Scott, but don't go upsetting Jean. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm standing up for myself, like you said. Well, it's never meant like this. Well, you can't stay in there forever. I want Jean back, you understand? I'm not coming out until we sort this out. So what out? I mean, we are staying in here until you agree to let me see my daughter. Is there another way in? So we don't worry. Glenn? It's just a garage. Double fronted doors and that's it. I'll, I'll go and get my tools, just in case. Scott, this is going far enough now. Sorry. Stop doing that! 
I called the police. Oh, and what are they going to do, eh? They're going to arrest me for being with my own daughter? You abducted her. What? I'm a father! I'm looking after her. You can't just take her when you feel like it. Anything could have happened. You went to the ball pit in the hot. What did you think I was going to do? You see, I told you he wouldn't go very far. Yeah, well, now you've seen it, you can give it back. Get what I want. Scott, you can't do this. It's blackmail. What are you doing in there? Don't you dare hurt her. Do that. Otherwise, she's crying. What's he doing out there? Considering your job offer, I suspect. What do you think he'll do? I don't know. He's a very proud man. Stubborn, more like. Oh, I'll have to go. Oh. You going already? Well, I can't leave that fence any longer. Well, if you give us a minute, I'll give you a hand. As long as you promise not to hit it again. Does that mean you want the job? Working for my own son. Well, if that's the only way to keep my eye on you. Joke. And just because you're a boss doesn't mean you have to be miserable. Mind, I will be expecting official break times. Give him a month's trial. That'll shut him up. Hey, don't you be giving him ideas. Hey, come on. You've got half a day's work to catch up on. Yes, yeah, slave driver. Scott, where are the police? Scott, just let me have a... Hi. Glad to see it's not just us dingles that can draw a crowd, eh? Mm, Scott's got a lot gene in there. Oh, I suck up from home farm. Well, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Why would you do that for me? Of course I would. In fact, I was planning as a nice tea. Oh, what? Beans on burnt toast again? <laughs> you could always join us and find out. Yeah, go on, Mum. Yeah, well, um, I'm going to wait till coppers turn up, though. Well, just be careful you don't end up with the blame, eh? Go on, you go. I'll join you in a minute. Go on. Come on, Scott, you made your point. I'm not giving in. Oh, she's crying. I know she's crying. How do you think I don't care? Scott, just let me see her. She needs me. She needs me as well. If only you'd just give her the chance to get to know me. But just listen to her. She's upset. Is this how you wanted to remember her day out with you? Come on, mate. You should be looking forward to getting out of here. It's been like that all day. What is it? They won't let me out till dawn comes back. <sighs> Why not? No support. You're as well off in here, if you ask me. Nice grub. And nurses aren't too shabby, either. <laughs> You've got your mates. I'll be round there all the time. You tell them that. It's not the same. I need someone with me 24 hours a day. Why are you looking at me like that? You can move in with me. Oh, no, I'm going to... No, just think of the look on Don's face when she sees me at home. Yeah, I know. It'll only be it? for a few days. I've been stuck in here for months. I'm going crazy. Terry, I don't want to stand in your way. Well, don't. Oh, come on, Bob. You're my only hope. <sighs> oh, you're making this very hard to refuse. I've got to get out of here before I go mad. All right. I'll come to the meeting, see what they say. How can you be so cruel? I'm not being cruel. I love her. Yeah, well, you've got a funny way of showing it. I wouldn't be doing this if you'd just been fair. It's not a bargaining tool. She's a little girl. Please don't take it out on her. for the world. See? <coughs> She's fine. Just give her to me. No. Not until you see that she needs a father. <coughs> she needs me as well. It's OK, officer. False alarm. Oh, yeah, well, you would say that. It was her son that nabbed Jean. Was it now? Is this true? I, um... I forgot she was spending time with her father. And I panicked. <coughs> I see. Well, as long as she's safe now. You have a habit of getting away with things. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Oh. Thank you for that. All I did was tell the truth. <laughs> Does that mean we can talk? Ah. It means I'll think about it.
Hey, you should go home and get some rest. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm honest. I just... I just wanted to be here for them. Yeah, but you need to look after yourself. Well, I can't come and go as I please. I take it you're having a dig at Steph. Oh, how, how can she be so, so clinical? Oh, you know Steph. She's got it all bottled up inside. That's her daughter in there. Don't be too harsh. All those years spent apart from Tricia. Well, you know how tough it got for her. Oh, this isn't some trivial squabble over a man. No, no this is the real thing. Best let her deal with it in her own way. Come in. The team feels that you've made good progress with your strength and mobility, and as far as I can see, you feel able to cope with the pressures of family life. Well, just try and stop me. Although I understand at the moment your wife is away. Yeah, but uh, she's due back soon. In the meantime, Bobby has uh, offered to stay with me. As a carer? Yeah. Well, why not? I mean, he knows me better than anyone. Well, how will you cope with work? I've got a very understanding boss. <laughs> And a wife, I imagine. This is a big responsibility. Yeah, I know. But I'm prepared to do whatever's necessary. In that case, I can't see a problem. Provided the house is suitably equipped and there's a, a care plan in place, but we'll see to that. Good. That's settled. Well done. Well, that doesn't look like making tea to me. Yeah, we're waiting for you. How's Jean? She's all right, love. She's safe. Oh, chicken out, did he, eh? Don't catch me backing down over our Debbie. What with you being the new man and everything? So I take it, Kane, that tea's waiting for me to cook it, yeah? Well, there's always beans on burnt toast. I'll give you a hand. You two just make the most of me while you still can. Don't say that. Why not? Chances are I'm going to be banged up, love. Maybe you should move in with your man for a while, Debbie. What do you think? I want to know why he's been so nice. Hey, I'm not all bad, you know. No? I'd say you're up to something, Kane Bingle. Yeah. It's called curing for my daughter, Ascot Windsor. Look, if you don't want her to move in... No, no, no. I think it's a lovely idea. Thanks. Just don't forget to send me some food parcels, eh? Uh. You go in. I'll wait here. Well, well. It, it's me. It didn't work. She won't come back. I love her so much. I know, but you've got to let her go. What if she's still in there? Not long. What if the doctors are wrong? How can I let her go? Anything else? No, thank you. Right, I'll go and see to the shop then. Shall I take Jean? Oh. I'm sorry about her. She just thinks a lot of Jean. So I can expect her to steal Jean next, hey, can yeah. I? I didn't steal her. You took her without hey, my yeah. consent. 
Do you know how worried I was? Okay. I know. And I'm sorry. I, uh... I just saw her there alone. I was only gone a minute. You were gone long enough for me to take her. I don't have to justify myself to you. No. But yet I have to jump through hoops every time I want to see my own daughter. Yeah. I'm sorry about yesterday. Yeah. It won't happen again. No, it won't happen again. Because from now on I expect a proper arrangement. Can I trust you? Oh, of course you can trust me. Do you really think I'm going to hurt her? No, I don't think you would. Oh, yeah. So you think we can sort something out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's sleeping. If I could just... She's not coming back, Marlon. The doctors have done everything they can. She's my wife. She'll live on in you and in me. We, we must decide what's best. For whom? For everybody. I, I, I know it's hard. Stop. Marlon. I don't want to leave her. She's already gone. Her legs won't move. Come on, let me help you. 